decades into the epidemic, this never was going to be a sprint. I think of it more like a fast-paced marathon or even a long-distance relay race. And we need new, bright minds to be energized and to enter the field. For the Reagan Summer Internship in South Africa, we chose Harvard freshmen and sophomores who had minimal or even no lab experience. Our aim was to make sure their first exposure to scientific research was unforgettable. We want to expose young people who are the most talented people, which is the next generation of leaders, to attract them to focus on some of the biggest global challenges. They have this unique opportunity not only to see cutting-edge science, but to actually see it and do it and experience it at the center of the HIV-AIDS epidemic. Our hope is that some of them will decide to take on research as their career path. I come from Brookline, Massachusetts. Solon, Ohio. Minneapolis, Minnesota. Originally from Zambia, but I moved two years ago to the USA for school. I specifically wanted to do this internship because it sounded like I would really be able to get a variety of experiences. Over the course of the summer, the students see and experience the epidemic instead of reading about it. We're right in the middle of the HIV AIDS epidemic. If I was in Boston, I'd be sitting in a classroom learning about HIV in a much more like, abstract and academic way. We're working with members of the communities who are affected. The students were given an option to choose what kind of setting and type of research they were most interested in. Four of the students chose to work in the laboratory, where they hoped to learn basic research techniques and assays. They're paired with local junior investigators and supervised by Reagan faculty based here in South Africa. It's been truly amazing being able to work with the PhD students and my mentors. I've learned how to do immunohistochemistry. We've had questions on this type of science in some of my classes, but now I know how to do it. It's just really opened my eyes to immunology as a whole and how complex but also how beautiful it is. I've been working with CDH T cells, investigating how different subsets of these cells can affect the virus differently and kill at different rates. I want to do research later with my life, and so I just live and breathe for this kind of work. The PhD student that I'm working with is very knowledgeable. That has been awesome to just have somebody in that capacity. I think what the Reagan Institute is doing is very exceptional. They are not only just helping the undergrads, but it's also good for us as PhD students. It's helping me to better my mentorship and supervision skills. To me, the greatest benefit is the collaboration that is strengthened through these kind of arrangements. The two students based at the Fresh Clinical site have been tasked with designing an assessment to figure out why the young women enrolled in the study are opting not to take PrEP. PrEP is a pill that can prevent them from becoming HIV infected, and it's free. Instead of just working with the data, I got to also talk to the participants and go on field trips with them and work on a bigger project on PrEP and do a qualitative study on that, which was really cool. It has made me excited. They helped me a lot, and we got a lot done. So I'm really excited about this program. Definitely the most interesting part of my experience here was working with the traditional healers. The two students based at the Reagan's I Teach program are working with African traditional healers. Their project is to design an assessment to determine whether or not traditional healers can impact the outcome of a pediatric HIV study called Baby Cure. Everything we've done, we've done with input from community members. They definitely bring to our attention ideas that hadn't even occurred to us. The project which was given to them, it was a difficult project, but they contributed a lot of skills, especially for my traditional healer project. I hope they take away the fact that the science is best done collaboratively. These are big problems that we can't solve as individuals. 
but by working together through partnerships, we can make a big impact. And I hope that the students see that firsthand. Designing and co-directing the Reagan Summer Internship with Zaza has allowed us to develop a program that gives the students the same opportunities that we had. Hopefully, it'll open their mind to a world of possibility for how they can make a difference. Not only does it give you a completely new research experience that I don't think you can find anywhere in the States because it's so hands-on, it's also just such a beautiful experience to be here in South Africa. There have been days where you know, I've come in early, I've left late, but it's also been very rewarding. But also just all the things that I'm learning and the connections that I'm making with so many amazing scientists. They've actually exceeded my personal expectations. Not only do they learn the, and capture the technique very quickly, but they get involved and begin to generate high quality data that actually is even publishable. And so they do make a lasting contribution. It has been a very powerful experience. I just felt like in every piece of work that I was doing that there was a greater purpose. Just being here has really shown me what it means to commit yourself to being really open-minded and just learning about the people around you. I'm just truly grateful for Harvard and the Reagan Institute for letting me have this opportunity that's truly life-changing. I've loved getting to know the people and the culture, and it's going to be sad to leave. There's much more to the experience here than just learning research techniques and study design. It's just been so much more than I thought it would be. Both the Harvard students and the South African students will be the next leaders of this world, and if we make a strong foundation, we're going to leave this world in a better hand.